Today, we visit Phil Lauren at the Dark Art Emporium, a gallery that celebrates a mix of fine art and oddities from dark surrealism to new contemporary art, including the taxidermied corpses of some vermin who met misfortune. But in order to get there, we must enter the threshold of the Fourth Horseman, a horror-themed pizza and beer parlor whose walls scream murder. Stare into my cold puppet eyes. <laughs> How can I look away? Let's do this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are with Phil Warren at his $3.8 billion art show. So, like, you're into the research development technology. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I work in R&D for Image Tech and have for God, about the last 15 years. And I love using tech to, uh, to provide an aesthetically pleasing narrative. I, I really like developing tools and also using uh, using art to illustrate what the technology does. Because I saw that you had some interesting photographs. Yeah, I like to draw and paint, but uh, photography is probably my main thing. And I love shooting outside of the human visible spectrum. So I shoot in infrared and sometimes ultraviolet. I've developed new techniques with infrared. And then I, I did a bunch of research into antique photography, like oh. photography from the 1850s. Why do photographs uh, make cowboys look like so rugged? And it turns out the chemicals that they used in the 1850s were sensitive to, to wavelengths well outside human vision. So if you broke that down, you can recreate these haggard, rugged portraiture styles. Oh, well, I didn't know that. So yeah. they really look that haggard. No, they, they probably looked sexy as hell. Oh, God. Yeah. No idea. Phil, why is it called the $3.8 billion show? Well, uh, I downloaded half a million NFTs and summed up the value of each NFT only if they'd been sold. And uh, it turns out the database of NFTs that I use to make all of these art projects, uh, the, the total was $3.8 billion. Oh, wow. And for those that don't know, what is an NFT? Uh, fucking dumb. Um, <laughs> so NFT stands for non-fungible token. And it's so poorly understood in the art community what that actually means. Like, they, they sell for astronomical amounts of money, but what they actually are are very similar to just a URL. So you buy this, this token that's not interchangeable, it's non-fungible, which... Uh, and it gives you access to a, a JPEG or an animated GIF or a, a funsies little animation that everyone on the internet kind of has access to anyway, but you have like the URL and that's yours to keep forever. And if the host ever goes away, then you have a dead link rot URL. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is kind of like a, your F U to NFTs, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I am not a fan and I thought this would be a, a funny way to, to take it down. Tell me a little bit about what we're seeing today. All right, so I took a classic, uh, pieces of art from the last seven centuries and kind of reconstructed them using a dense mosaic of hundreds of thousands of NFTs per image. Yeah. That took a long time, huh? Yeah. And then uh, mostly it was coding time, uh, writing and working with, uh, with libraries off GitHub and working with, with teams of open source uh, engineers to really nail down this code to develop these correctly. And Phil, how did you decide what... Uh prolific uh, paintings to capture? You know, I actually I took a few informal polls, but I also looked at a lot of lists of the world's 20 most recognizable art pieces. And yeah, I chose from those. Yeah, I mean, I, I do see one of my favorites. You know, uh, we're all taught Van Gogh. Yeah. And I really love Cafe Terrace. Yeah, th that was 
I want to say one of the first paintings I was ever shown as a kid, uh, my, my teacher who, who said, this, this is what art is, and like brought in her print and, and passed it around the class framed, and uh, it stuck with me. I thought that was a really good classic piece. Uh, tell me about this one here. Okay, so Afghan Girl. I think it's the most stunning portrait that, that's ever been captured. I really wanted to pay an homage to what I think is the best photography that a person can see. And I know it's like a politically charged and contentious photo because the girl when she was photographed didn't really consent to this. In fact, the world didn't really even know her name until very recently. Yeah, and she's like not super happy about it, so that sucks. But uh, I kind of wanted to show a juxtaposition between what I think is the best portrait ever done and what NFT portraiture looks like. Uh, it's the only image in this show that gets its own tile set. I exclusively used sexy anime girls. Um, so and so many of the, the NFT images are kind of disgusting. A lot of, a lot of Japanese sex face, so a lot of ahigao in there. I, I thought that was a, a good ironic take on that piece. Oh, tell me about the, uh, the board ape. What is it called? I mean, technically board ape yacht club. I think it's like 8816. Okay. And, um, this one like hurt me to include in the art show. Cause like, it's kind of admitting that NFTs are art, but oh God, I guess it is part of the zeitgeist. Yeah. And like, if we're looking at 21st century art, it's going to be part of the discussion. It's not even that particularly good, but it has a combination of the rarest traits uh, that the NFT collectible can use. So apparently if you're a Bored Ape Yacht Club collector, this is like the creme de la creme because it's like gold and has a party hat and like he's got the turtleneck and is appropriately bored, I guess. But like an earring, that's cool, right? People like apes with earrings. People like apes with earrings. Yeah. Now Phil, are you gonna be sued for any of this? God, that'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, I'd like to think not. So the 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 online server that houses all these actually, I, I submitted a proposal for this project, and they gave me an API key to, to download all these. So oh, that's cool. I guess I have their approval. Yeah, and that's awesome. I think mosaics are pretty well covered under uh, fair use law. Oh, okay. So I didn't know be. that. Yeah. It's cool. It's like a copy of a copy of a copy. Yeah. So many copies, but like mine have apes with tits in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Phil, uh, for talking to me. Uh, and uh, remember, keep it dirty and support your local artist. <laughs> well, shit. Thanks for watching. You can look at more of Phil's art at philwarnphotography.com. And if you like what you saw today, you can head over to thedirtypattyshow.com to see more. And while you're there, you can sign up for our newsletter or even donate to our Patreon. You'd be helping us bring you more episodes. I'll like and subscribe to all of our shit, too. Well, take care of one another. And remember to always keep it dirty and support your local artist. <laughs>